This conference will now be recorded. So the topics that we are going to cover here, we will see what is recurring inspection, recurring inspection process flow, data, data required for recurring inspection, what master data settings and configuration settings required for recurring inspection, we will understand that. Recurring inspection process flow, how the, how the process flow works, we will see that. Then how the next inspection date and the SLED date, shelf life expiry date are calculated in the system, we will see that. Then how to execute the deadline monitoring program, we will cover this. So these are the topics we will be covering in the recurring inspection. Okay. So first we'll understand what is recurring inspection. Recurring inspection allows you to monitor the quality of the batches that are in the warehouse. Okay, the system are, can automatically create inspection lots at predefined intervals for selected batch materials. So, in some of the industries, what happens is, even though uh, the materials, uh, let's say you are you are having receiving incoming materials, materials which are received from the suppliers. Okay, so when they are received for the first time, they will inspect. Okay, but even though after inspecting for the first time they need to inspect those batches or materials those batches at predefined intervals okay at predefined intervals they have to do quality inspection till the total stock is consumed okay so this this recurring inspection is normally used in um, uh, process manufacturing industries like pharmaceuticals uh, food manufacturing industries okay chemical industry so those kind of industries they will use this process basically so even though the material is inspected for the first time when it is received but after that they have to inspect the material at predefined intervals like every one year after every one year okay they have to inspect it till the entire stock of that material is consumed so that is why it is called recurring inspection means you are doing the inspection multiple times okay a recurring inspections are triggered by a report that you can execute manually or that system can execute automatically so so to generate that recurring inspection lot so you need to run a program you need to run a bank program actually that can be executed manually or it can be executed automatically by a background i will show you that in the system when you go to the system i will show you that. okay so this is the one so basically what happens is you have the materials in your warehouse okay which are batch managed okay so what happens is they will define a interval like here if you see after every week okay so after every week what happens is system will automatically generate say inspection to do the quality inspection till that time total stock of that batch is consumed okay so you are doing multiple times inspection this is a recurring inspection on top of that in the pharma in, the, in some industries they have this material shelf life okay so after that particular date you cannot use that material anymore suppose let's say if you go to uh, any medical shop when you buy a when you buy tablets okay or capsules so on the on the strip you will be able to see like uh, batch number manufacturing date and expiry date so once that expiry date is reached uh, normally you will not purchase those tablets or capsules so that is a expiry date so it is called as sled shelf life expiry date so once this date is reached what system does is system will move the stock if still any leftover stock is there they will move this to the block of stock system will move the stock to the block of stock so that nobody can consume it okay so we have recurring inspection here and uh, shelf life expiry monitoring okay so to create these inspection lots the system creates inspection lots automatically for recurring inspection if the following conditions have been met so to do uh, to generate recurring inspection lots lots you need to have certain uh, conditions one is each material to be inspected is defined as a batch material in the metal master so that metal has to be batch management 
an inspection interval is specified in the quality management view of the metal master record. So in the metal master, in the QM view, which I will show it in the system, you need to have a inspection interval. Your inspection interval, like how you, when you want to do, like after six months, after every six months, or after every one year, or after every one month, that interval you have to define. Next, an inspection type is active for inspection lot origin 09 in inspection settings of the metal master record. So in the metal master, you need to activate the inspection type 09. Zero. Okay. The inspection settings in the metal master record specify an inspection using task list or a metal specification. So you need to have a proper task list inspection plan. Okay. A inspection date is specified for the batch in the batch master record. So once the batch gets created, it should have a next inspection date. I will show it in the system. Okay. So first we will see the settings in the system. First is inspection interval. So let me log into the system. Let me go to the system. Okay. I will take this material. MM02. This is the material. Material number is 81. Enter. Okay, let us go to the first. Let me go to the uh, general plan data storage one. If you go to there, plant is triple zero one here. So first, the material should be batch managed. So the material is already batch managed. The first setting, the material should be the it should be batch managed with. So I already activated. I already activated batch management. Okay, next setting. An inspection interval is specified in the quality management view of the metal master record. So you need to maintain the inspection interval. So for that, you need to go to QM view. Go to QM view. Here you see there is an inspection interval. So I will maintain as 365 days. So after every one year, I want to do quality inspection of this material. After every one year. Okay, so this is the one. We are maintaining the inspection interval in the metal master. Okay. Now after that. What is the next prerequisite? An inspection type is active for inspection lot origin zero. So you need to activate the inspection type. Okay. So let me click on the button inspection setup. Okay. As of now, we don't have inspection types. Click on the button create inspection type. I will activate zero nine. Zero nine. Recurring inspection of batches. So this inspection type is mandatory. Activate this. Check. Okay, you got all the indicators activate also along with that i will activate normal zero one also okay i will activate zero one good receipt inspection against purchase order I activated it okay so but for recurring inspection this inspection type is mandatory zero nine having the lot origin zero nine continue okay done so we maintained inspection one year Okay. Also, if if you want to have the shelf life expiry, shelf life expiry, you need to maintain the shelf life expiry here. So go here, go to plant data storage one view. Okay, here you see shelf life, total shelf life. So let's I'll maintain it as 36 months. Shelf life is 36, and period indicator I will put it as months. Months. That means the expiry of this material is. 36 months from the date of manufacturing. So this is 36 and this is months. Then I'll maintain minimum remaining shelf life. Okay, that's okay. Then so I maintained all the information. So that means expiry is three years, but after every one year, we need to do inspection. Regular multiple times inspection after every one year. Now you see it. So we made all the settings in the metal master. Okay. Next, we should have it inspection task list your inspection plan so i already created the inspection plan okay i already created the inspection plan suppose let me show you qp03 this is the material this is the plant okay so i already created an inspection plan for this material with one operation and just one mic just one MIC. okay so all the data is ready all the data is ready okay this data is ready 
okay so now what you need to do is first what i will do as of now this material is not having any stock okay so let us go to the stock just let's check the stock mmba okay so this is a material this is a plant things are good we don't have any stock as of now so now let me create a purchase order I will, I will run a purchasing cycle to receive the material okay so let's go to mb 21 yen this we discussed during our quality inspection during procurement okay i'm just creating a po okay so we are ordering this material 